grace and his mercy. Grace is always giving me what I don't deserve. And mercy is not giving me what I do deserve. And for that, I'm eternally grateful. How everybody doing? Good. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Yes, all right. It's good that it be in a new year, right? So our job is to have a new mind for a new year. Mm -hmm. Is that true? That's yeah. very, very good. So we have an old mind in a new year. What, what we have to do, what? The old results, right? Yep. So to have something new, we got to do things, some things different, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm a, I like to illustrate. Um, I'm not an artist. Sometimes I am, but sometimes you got this. Because, see, I've been in eight programs. And I know how it is to be sitting amongst dialogue all day long. And some people get bored. And they might take flights. Yeah. So we don't want that. So we want you to be engaged and not to be bored. So when you have illustrations, you hear what I'm talking about. But now you see what I'm talking about. It's a it's a it's a it's a uh, a profound statement in Philadelphia on one of the boards up there on the buildings. It says, "Tell me, I'll forget. Involve me. I'm sorry. Tell me, I'll forget. Show me, I will remember. Involve me, I will understand. Anybody catch that? Mm -hmm. So if I tell you, you might forget. Mm -hmm. if, if, if I if I show if I show you, you'll remember. If, you'll remember. If I involve you, you will understand, right? Mm -hmm. right. So we're going to do addiction one side and recovery the other side. Resources has to be like Michael Jackson at 630, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, let's get into it. Active addiction versus what? Recovery. Mindset. The war is between our two ears. Is that true? Yes. Sir. Very good. Whoever we feed and give energy to will get stronger and prosper. Whoever we don't feed will wither and die. All right, so the mindset of the active addiction must die so the new man and the new woman can resurrect. Number one, denial stands for don't even know I'm lying. Oh, that's good. I never heard that. You never heard that? No. Denial, don't even know I'm what? Lying. Mm -hmm. All right, I like specifics. Number one, money. Money. Who said they can handle money? When you get money, do the wrong thing with money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know. I'm okay. Your saver? Okay, all right. Who know that money was never the problem? Who understand that money was never the problem? Do I got any money on me? Wait a minute. Money's the root of all evil. Are those fives, all of them? Or yeah, it's fives, all the way down. They said they said the love of money is the root of all evil. Y'all hear that before? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The love of money. See, when you love, when you love something, you'll do anything to get it or to protect it. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So if this love, this could be my God. I like illustration once again. So money, right? This is never the problem. This is the problem. And this is the problem. So if I don't change this and I don't change this, I do the wrong thing with what? This right here. Right. You understand that? But until I get this changed and get this circumcised, I need you to walk with me to the store. If you don't, I might get high. I need her to walk with me to go to the laundry mat. If she don't, I could get high. You understand that? Because me and my money, early in recovery, are enemies. Yeah. All right? To that self be what? True. Who understand that you might need a payee to help you with your M, your money? So you want D-I-E. Mm -hmm. Everybody understand what I'm talking about? Yep. And we, we, we old, we grown, we make the money, but guess what? I'm not ready to handle money. And it's okay to say that you're not ready. I ain't deny you. Some people say they can handle it, mind your business, this is my money. I'm going to do what I want to do with it, and you can die with your money. Having your money. Denial. All right? Next one is what? Independence. Under denial. Who's ready for independence, but you're really not? I've been there. I'm tired of the program. I'm tired of my roommates. I'm tired of these rules. I'm tired of being here. I'm tired of the food. I'm tired of the, the restrictions. I'm tired of the limitations. I want to get out of here. But I'm not ready to go. But my flesh and the old me say, yo, break camp. Let's go. But the, the, but the guy who I, I got to give a chance saying, you know what? Sit still. Be quiet. Shut your mouth and learn something. So I need dependence that prepare me for independence. Everybody understand that? Mm -hmm. So I need my therapist. I need my text. I need the counselor. I need a psychiatrist. I need the nurse. I need my peers to help me for what? Independence. Dependence prepare us for independence. Is that true? Or be good. But for those who live in denial, don't think they need dependence. Anybody isolate? Is that dangerous? Mm -hmm. Yes, isolation is real dangerous. How about another one right here? How about this one here? The denial. Don't even know I'm lying. How about relationships? Relationships. Is that a problem? Some people? 
when the drugs go, some of them we start to what? Get sexually activated. Codependent. Right, codependency kick in, right? How many men and women in here lose themselves in people? I've been there. Because people who don't work on themselves, guess who they run to? Everybody else. Oh, if I'm running from me, I'm going to run to her. I'm going to hide behind her. Everybody understand that? And it's vice versa with some women. Because, they, because when I look at my life in the mirror, it's too much pain there, too much hurt there, too much resentment there. Too much, my childhood atrocities is too deep to look, to work, to assess. You know what I'm saying? To, to, uh, to uproot and substitute all that pain. It takes work. So I run from me and bring all my luggage and all my pain with me into a relationship. One addict ain't working on nothing plus another addict ain't working on nothing equals what? Disaster. You better believe it. Sometimes a bag of dope mm -hmm. and some perks and some zannies and some fentanyl yeah. and some K2 and some wet and some crack. And some alcohol, all right? Denying or don't even know I'm lying. I love specifics. How about defense mechanisms? Defense mechanisms. We came in here, we had our luggage, we got our things, and we also went to Lowe's and Home Depot and brought and bought some invisible cement and bricks. And we started laying down <laughs> cement and we put down what? The wall. The bricks. That's right. Make more cement and more bricks and build the what? A wall. Now I'm emotionally insulated, but I'm what? In prison. Anybody been there before? Yeah. Yes. Because I got trust issues. Who got trust issues? Really don't trust nobody. Yeah. Yes. So I can live behind the wall. And behind the wall, deepest mechanism we got, number one is what? Silence. Silence of the lamb. Mm. Silence of the lamb. Talk about the eagles. They won today. The Yay. My volume goes up. Talk about, listen, we already got by over by five murders already, I think, in this year already. The volume goes up. Uh, um, where you from? The volume goes up. How many kids you got? The volume goes up. Um, when you leaving? The volume goes up. But to talk about me, seriously, the volume goes what? Down. And I live in silence. Everybody understand that? Silence of the Lamb. So I minimize importance but maximize foolishness. Minimize importance but maximize foolishness. Watch who you hang with. Everybody hear that? Because yeah. eagles... Don't hang with chickens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, silence of the lamb. What's another one? Defense mechanisms. We protecting what? Ourselves. So silence of the How about inappropriate humor? Inappropriate humor. Who laughed and joked because you're hiding pain? Nothing wrong, nothing wrong with joking and playing. But if that's all we do from get out of bed to let go back to bed, now it's a problem. Everybody understand that? Inappropriate humor. And everybody else's business except who business? You're right. Yes, I've been there too. Inappropriate humor. Laughing because I'm hiding pain. Defense mechanism. Silence of the lamb is one. Right there. All right. Inappropriate humor. That's two. How about argumentativeness? All these are what? Shields. It's a mask. Defense mechanism. Anybody argumentative? Make things this small, but you make it this big. Anybody like that? You know what I'm talking about? Mm. Argumentative. Nobody? I know Some... people like that. Okay. All right. <laughs> How do we deal with people like that? Walk away from, I don't know. <laughs> you said the right thing. Walk away. Can well, we change they people? catastrophes out of stuff. Like, they get argumentative uh, and make shit up, and then they're just like, later, because they're just, they're wrong. Mm -hmm. well, I just walk away. Mm -hmm. Very good. And they're usually high. I'll tell you that. I'm like, later. Uh, yeah. Right I didn't enough. drink because I didn't do drugs, but she did. My friend does. And mm -hmm. I'm just like, all right, I'll just get up and walk out of her house. Because mm -hmm. she'll just keep talking all night. Okay. Shit. To nobody, the dogs and the cats. <laughs> I can't. How's she doing now? She's still high. Oh, yeah? yeah keep her in prayer. All right. I do. Okay, that's she's good. She's not a bad person, but she gets so whacked. It's just. It's sad. She's a yeller. Mm -hmm. She's a, like a barker. She barks at people. Mm -hmm. And she lives through her father that has passed away. And it's just it's sad. Mm -hmm. Because she's not a bad person. She means well. Mm -hmm. But her deliverance is brutal. Mm hmm. Okay, thank you for sharing. I'm completely it. opposite than her. Okay. But she's been my friend since I'm first grade. Yeah. We all, Jake and Town, like they're every, Irish Catholic Trumps, everybody's related. Because mm -hmm. you had, had eight kids, you've been in the hood. Mm -hmm. And you, you weren't an alcoholic, you were at work. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you for saying that, sis. You got it. All right. How about this right here? I'm going to push press source. All right. 
So we got what? Silence of the Lamb. We got inappropriate humor. Laughing and joking. Disguise of pain. Argumentativeness. Making things small but making them a big issue. It's a smoke screen because I really want to get high. Mm -hmm. All right? I need for you to keep the focus off of what? Me. So I just make put, I put a great Academy Award performance on right here at Valley Forge because I really want to get high. How about cockiness? Get cocky. Get knocked out like Rocky. <laughs> Not physical but spiritual knockouts. Emotional knockouts, psychological knockouts, get cocky, get arrogant, and get knocked yeah. out like Rocky. Anybody been there before? I've been there. Shit, yes. Yes. Who here been skinny as a pencil and your weight came back? <laughs> yes. Nobody know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. All right. How about complacency? Mm -hmm. Who's existing but you're not living yet? Complacency. We existing but we're not living yet. Anybody understand that? Mm. Complacent. It's like back in the day, some women, the more kids they had, the bigger check they get from the government. They was complacent on welfare assistance. Am I saying that? Complacent. Some, one guy what, back in North Philadelphia stayed in a recovery program for like four or five years because he was what? Afraid to step out. They said step in, step up, and step out. But he was complacent with mediocrity. Mm -hmm. Am I understand that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Complacent, all right? I don't want to be challenged. I don't want to be checked. I don't want to be corrected. I don't want to be left alone. Complacent. I'm going to play it safe, all right? Complacency. How about this? Closed-minded. Anybody mind closed? She's a woman. I'm a man. Not listening. He's Caucasian. I'm black. He's not listening. I'm not listening. You Republican. I'm a Democrat. Not listening. You atheist. I'm agnostic. Not listening. You shot dope. I smoke coke. Not listening. They work here. We live here. Not listening. Mm -hmm. Everybody, know, everybody know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Mine is what? Closed. Who here working to open up their mind? Guess what? My mind got over. I know about Amy Winehouse. Oh, yeah. I used to see her. They used to talk about her. But yesterday on cable, it called Amy. And I did not know she was from Britain. Didn't know she died at 27. And I didn't know she had a beautiful voice. God, yeah. Yeah. She had a beautiful voice. Mm -hmm. And she started doing alcohol. And from alcohol was what? To coke. And from crack, she started doing what? Dope. Anybody hear that? Yeah. yeah. No, Amy Winehouse. Uh -huh. Amy Winehouse. Beautiful voice. 27 years old. Great hair. Deceased. And she died of um, alcohol overdose. Yeah. That's Her true. levels was real high, man. It was real sad to see that, man. For real. Have so much great talent and potential. Mm -hmm. What did he do, right? With the Houston too, also. Is that? And her daughter. And her daughter. Yeah, the Twenty Seven Club. Yeah. That's right. Kurt Cobain. Yeah. I never thought. You know. Jim Jim Morrison, Jimi Hendrix, and Amy Winehouse. Yeah, Twenty Seven Club, huh? I never would have thought with Whitney or Amy though, like Kurt Cobain and them. Yeah, but Whitney. But what? Whitney it just came so out of left field, you know? Like, turmoil, struggles in her life. Right, without a doubt. A lot of a lot of people had that hidden demons, and yeah. it goes back to here. Denying the, nine, the shields. Exactly. Right. And sometimes sometimes when people are celebrity status like that, people, they have yes men around them. Yeah, that would be hard. Right. And if I'm a celebrity, I don't want nobody to shoot a cop mess. Dirk, you're dying. Dirk, yeah. not on my watch. You know what I'm saying? You want to fight me every day. Because, we listen, you ain't going to die on me. You're paying them people, though, so they think, well, oh, I guess. I yeah. Right. And all money ain't good money. So you, the more you pay me, the more I shut up and let you die. Yeah. Up, That's right? crazy. Yeah, that is. Cockiness is dangerous. Complacency, mediocrity, closed minded, can't learn nothing, can't receive anything. Anger. That's big. Anger is a natural emotion. Who gets angry and flip out? Anger comes in a couple of degrees. Number one, suppress anger. Who suppress the anger, then explode later? Mm -hmm. All right? You still were you working on that? Mm -hmm. who, who, is this true? We allow people to make us angry. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's true, right? Yeah. You can't make me angry. I allow you, right, mm -hmm. to make me angry. Mm -hmm. So she, if I allow her on Monday, I suppressed it. I allow her to make me angry. That's Tuesday. Allow him to make me angry. That's Wednesday. Allow him to make me angry. That's Thursday. And her, it's Friday. And Saturday, Valley Force can tell because I never check Monday. And Monday spilled the Tuesday, and Tuesday mm -hmm. went to Wednesday, and Wednesday built up momentum on Thursday, and Thursday got stronger on Friday, and all hell broke loose on Saturday. Suppress anger. We get angry, but we got to learn to let it out 
Anybody drive, ride a bicycle and your inner tube had, um, had a slow leak in it? Mm -hmm. Wait, what noise do you hear? Right, and that's how we got to let our anger out. Because if we don't, we will suppress, then explode. Anybody been there before? And going off on people who don't deserve what? Our anger. Kicking the dub. The dub didn't do nothing wrong. He just punting the dub. Listen, suppress anger. Who's passive aggressive? Trisha, my friend. Passive aggressive. They the sneaky individual. They plot and scheme. Mm -hmm. yeah, they say one thing but do another thing. They smile in your face and stab you in your back. Mm -hmm. They're the ones that call, pick up the phone and call DHS. They're the ones that what? Pull a fire alarm right here in Valley Forge and run for cover. Yeah, they're the ones that, yo, yo, get high, get drunk, have perfect and put it on your side of the room. That's a true story. That really happened right there. Passive aggressive. They're the ones that cuss us up but can't read or write. They're the ones that's always selling wolf tickets, but they can't fight and they don't want no action. Mm. Passive. They, they the lady ladies who give their man all the sex he want when he sleep, then they rob him. Passive aggressive. Passive aggressive. Passive aggressive, right? Um, how about who, who's aggressive? <laughs> who's, that's true. That happens. Who's aggressive? Don't care about this place. If you hear about court order, parole, probation, listen, you're gonna you get angry, you're gonna go off and express yourself. Anybody got angry and broke, broke their cell phone with no insurance? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> About 10 times. Yep, 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 <laughs> yeah. Yep. yeah. Don't let it be an iPhone. Lord have mercy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Aggressive. Oh, <that's> it, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Anybody get mad at themselves because they relapse? Yeah. Anybody beat themselves up yeah. to the point that was hard for you to get up and recover? Because yeah. we beat ourselves up so bad? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was, it was upsetting when you relapsed, but my brother said, Kitty, you made a mistake. You're not a mistake. Mm -hmm. Get back on the horse. Like, Get back up in there. That's right. I gotta keep fighting. Keep fighting. Do you learn from your relapse? Mm -hmm. I did too. It was embarrassing to me. Uh huh. I was mortified. Mm -hmm. It's like I let my whole family down. Mm -hmm. oh. And me. Mm -hmm. Who was you doing it for? Them or for you? No, but I'm very close to my family. I and I went to a meeting mm -hmm. and I went to the seat store. Mm -hmm. I only drank for two days, though. I mean, when I came here the first time, I was hammered. I couldn't even walk. I had to put me in a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. And I turned into a lawyer. So let me understand simply that if I sign this, I can get it back at any time, right? It doesn't mean I'm giving it to you. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh. So I would Kitty. apologize to the person who's doing it. Who's this chick? <laughs> oh. Oh. That's what's up. That's what's up. But you know, look, look, see. Uh, we, she admits it. A lot of times we got to we gotta go Just down. Just laugh at it. And but, mm -hmm. I know, but it was like, oh. I never went to rehab before, and then I went, and then it was like, I was at a meeting up here in Plymouth meeting with my friend, and I, what, I got lost, because I always get lost. And all of a sudden, there was a state store, wine and spirits. So I'm like, yeah, let me get that, and you can take my spirit. Mm -hmm. But I called my brother into the second day, and then I had to wait to get in here, and I convinced my mom that I have to drink or I'm gonna have a seizure. She was like, oh. 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 And then I vomited when I got here because I drank all this mixed shit and I drank vodka. Mm -hmm. I was drinking rum, I was drinking uh, this wine, it was disgusting. Day, huh? Champagne, Tito's. Uh, you must have a serious headache. Right? I didn't, I just vomited. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Yeah. That mom, that mom, you 28 days with Sonny Bullock. I think that that was good. That's a good recovery movie right there. That's because see, she movie, only wants yeah. she only wants the rehab because of, uh, out of force. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because she 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 destroyed her sister's wedding. I mm -hmm. forgot about mm -hmm. that movie. Yeah. And stole That's a limo yeah. and, and ran into a house. Mm -hmm. And she was court ordered there. So she yeah. didn't really want well, she wasn't ready to stop drinking. Mm -hmm. But it took her roommate to OD for her to take oh, her yeah. life seriously. Oh, yeah. And how and that little crazy boyfriend, silly boyfriend, she <laughs> just straight up cut him. Because he was going to get her dirty before she got him clean. Yeah. You, you understand what I'm talking about? That old person, we got to put the bed. And we got to look at the blind spots, insight, foresight. Some of us used to live in the past. Anybody live in the past that you can't enjoy your present? Yeah. And, you, and listen, your future is what? It, it, it's dark. Can't see it. Can't see it. Because we live in the what? The past. Mm -hmm. When I go to the past, it's for reference. Not to live there, not to stay there, but for reference and stay in the present. Mm. Yeah. It's a process. Amen. Process. Denial. Don't even know I'm lying. Defense mechanisms. My walls is up. 
cockiness and get knocked out in all levels. Complacency, all right? Living in mediocrity, stuck, closed-minded, can't receive no information because my mind is closed and I know everything. Anger, we all get angry, I suppress, then I explode, I'm passive-aggressive, I plot, then I scheme, I'm aggressive, I act stupid. Then I got fear. Fear, that definitely will get me high again. Who's afraid of success? So you self-sabotage. Clean and lose your clean time. Out of jail and back in jail. With your family, away from your family. Have money, man, I'm broke. Find a way to what? Kill a good thing. Because we're afraid of what? Success. The girl J.K. Rollins was in Manchester. Delayed train to London. And she pulled out her script and she started writing. And the, the publishers, 13 publishers said, what you're writing is insufficient. It's, 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 it, it, yo, you're wasting your time. They laughed, they joked, but the author was J.K. Rollins, who did Harry Potter. I just saw the creator of Harry right. Potter. And look at those 13 publishers now, probably kissing our ass, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, <laughs> right? Exactly, all right? Fear or what? Success. Mm -hmm. Don't never let nobody tell you what you cannot do, what you want to be, and all that madness, all right? Mm -hmm. Because they are spiritual abortionists. Spiritual abortionists. Mm -hmm. They help kill what the gift that God put in you. Yeah. Everybody understand that? Mm -hmm. And we don't even need their help. We do it ourselves. Wow. So breathe life into you and don't hang with nobody who breathes death your way. Fear what? Success. Today, mm -hmm. for me, success is just being obedient to my higher power. Who's afraid of failure so you don't try? Get on your march, get set, we don't go. Get on your march, get set, we don't go. We're afraid to fail. Mm -hmm. Afraid to fail. But who knows failing is learning? Y'all know that? That's why I asked her when you relapse, what do you learn? That's important. Because your relapse was not in vain. Everybody hear that? I relapsed eight times, and every time God showed me, you're cocky, first time, you're self-centered, second time, you know, you think like you know everything, third time, you're chasing women, too much, the fourth time, yo, you're trying to tell help how to help you, the fifth time, you lazy, sixth time, you inconsiderate, the seventh time, you don't want to be here, you're a hypocrite, the eighth time, I never knew me until I relapsed, how you see it, it's how you treat it. Perception is everything. Fear of success, so I self-sabotage. Fear of failure, so I don't try. Who's afraid of what? Rejection. Am I afraid of rejection? Yeah. I think everybody is subconsciously. Is rejection bad? No. It can be good, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Very good. That click that didn't want you. Y'all seen Weak Mean Girls? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like that movie. I love the movie right there. <laughs> Always trying to fit in. Any people pleasers in here? Anybody got codependency? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. That, that was me too. Always want to be a part of. Don't talk about me, please. Don't judge me, please. Don't laugh at me. Don't talk behind my back. Be my friend. And that's more, you know what? And a mentality like that is more dangerous than doing a drug addict. Because even if you get clean, guess what? You got another addiction. People. Mm -hmm. Worrying about what people think and going to say. Mm -hmm. And family are more dangerous than strangers. I, I told you. Right. I told you she'd get drunk. Right. told you she'd dope again. No, told you would be back in jail. I knew it. Instead of helping us, they condemn us. Yeah. Uh-huh. Fear of rejection. Rejection is not always bad. Sometimes rejection is good. All right? How about this right here? Thinking errors. Thinking errors. Number one. Um, catastrophic thinking. Catastrophic. I'm going to shoot dope again. How do you know? I'm going to smoke coke again. How do you know? Good behaviors. Right. But we're giving ourselves a chance. But if we think like that and talk like that, eventually we'll start walking like that. Right. Everybody understand that? So catastrophic thinking is a thinking error because we don't know. We become forecasters on our lives. The architect of disaster. Hmm. Catast catastrophic thinking. How about all or nothing? They are the people who do, do, do not see no gray areas. And either I'm a what? I'm clean or I'm dirty. Who got family members that they, they, they can't see us progressing? Can't see the little the little steps that we're making. Can't see that we, we're trying. Can't see that the fact that we're better than we was last year. Right. Anybody understand that? Because yeah. they don't see gray areas. All they see is this right. and that. Right. But we came in here as caterpillars. 
And Valley Forge is the what? The cocoon, the metamorphosis, the breaking, the transformation, the 180 in here. And when we leave out, leave out of here as beautiful butterflies, as beautiful butterflies, thinking her, it's all or nothing. Can't see the great areas, but the great areas do exist. How you see it is how you treat it. How about resentments? Who are holding grudges? Who mad at people that's, that's deceased? I know people like that. They did and gone, they still got beefs. They still angry. You can really get caught up in resentments. Why you say that? Because, you, well, for me personally, I was in a relationship and uh, we broke up and I just, I had a resentment because he wanted to be, he was an only child and he wanted to be friends with all my family. He mm -hmm. said, I really miss everybody but you. I'm like, okay, great. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, and he bought a place in Panama City where my brother sent us to his mm -hmm. crib. And then it's just like he just was in love with my brother. And I can't fault David, my brother, because he's very kind and generous. And he helped him with all these uh, options for this real estate stuff. And he made a lot of money. But he, I just had a resentment. But I couldn't say, you can't golf with him, David. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Because... He was friends with them, and he was in Panama City. Bobby bought a house down there, so hard, and they'd play golf and stuff like that. David mm -hmm. didn't know a lot of people down there, mm -hmm. so I couldn't do that to my brother. But I did. I just I got resentment against Bobby, mm -hmm. like you little prickhead, one-eyed little yeah. jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Can you forget? Can, listen, here's another thing too. I'm glad you brought that up. Look, anybody who has a why in a life. Anybody has a why in your life and it's not answered, you can have what? Resentments. Is that true? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you ever have a why in your life and then your why is not answered, it's we can have what? Resentments. Exactly. Get angry. So my higher power had to give me the what? The what? To answer the why. Give me an example. My ex-wife used to beat me up. Why? My ex-wife was controlling. Why? My ex-wife, listen, she was jealous. Why? My ex-wife was suspicious and fault-finding and negative. Why? She was being mad. So my high power, so listen, because sometimes me, we as men, ladies, we think below the equator. And we, a lot of us are cookie monsters. We don't care about your pain or your hurt. We just want some cookies. <laughs> we cookie monsters. <laughs> So I learned the hard way, all right? Uh -huh. After the butt, now what? Y'all ever hear that before? No. After the butt, now what? Okay. So after all the energy <laughs> and the plotting and scheming, and you finally get it, now what? Mm -hmm. And guess what? Here come the what what? Her son got murdered. Oh. She told me that before I got the cookies, but I was not listening. Her, her sister slept with her boyfriend, had two kids by her boyfriend. She told me that before I got the cookies, but I was not listening. Everybody hear that? How her son fall used to beat her up from sun up to sun down. She told me that before I got the cookies, but I was not listening. Mm -hmm. Every man she dated cheated on her. Same thing. Now I got the what for my wives. Now I can come out of what? Resentments. Easy said than what? Done. Hurt people do what? Hurt people. Hurt people. Anybody here mad at their moms? Mad at their fathers? Mad at their brothers? Mad at you? Mm -hmm. Mad at your high power, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Listen, unanswered what? Questions. Questions. Always produce resentments. Mm -hmm. How about envy and jealousy? Envy. That's big. Mm -hmm. I want what she has. I like the fact that he's working in the field that I want to work at. I envy that. I don't want to be like him. I would like to have that one day if it's my high power's will. Jealousy is malicious. Jealousy goes from what? From trying to, you know, from worship to what? Destroying the individual. Who's the two Caucasian girl that was ice skating? Oh, oh I know what you're talking about. I don't know their name. Uh, what? Kara. Uh, oh, she broke her, broke her foot to skate in her leg or broke her leg. Out of, yeah, out of jealousy. Blonde. And that was her crazy. Neck. Tanya yeah. Hardy. There Tanya you go. Hardy. Thank you, sir. Yep. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Now, now that was them. really... Don't, 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 what happened? That was rotten. 
Like that takes an asshole. Mm -hmm. that's, 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 I mean, you've got to be uh -huh. really uh -huh. driven. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. And being uh -huh. well. Hi, friend. Hey. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. You really have to be that. driven uh -huh. to go that far to hurt somebody. Because you were a very malicious person. Right. Just take her out. Y'all hear that? That's bad. What happened? You got you to gotta, you gotta get the story. I know Tanya Hardy, but I don't know what happened. She hurt well, the other girl. Why would you love somebody who loves you Nancy Carrigan. Yeah, Nancy Carrigan. Very right. good. She right. broke her you shit. You got to be a little older to get that gig. Yeah. But you got to get it on your phone. You can pull it up. Yeah. Also, Amy Fisher. Oh, yeah. Oh, Amy Fisher. Oh. Amy Fisher. She fell in love with Joey Butterfuco's wife. Right, right, uh, no, right. Fell, in, fell in love with Joey Butterfuco. Yeah. Was jealous of his wife. Rung the doorbell she and shot her in the head. Right. Oh she didn't die. She lived. She went to jail, and Joey Badafuco, they went to jail, having sex with a minor. Jealousy oh is malicious. Whatever we assassin, whatever we, and whatever we hate, is easy to assassinate. Anybody hear that? Mm -hmm. Envy. Gotta watch that, because we don't slow down envy, we move right into what? Jealousy. Right. Yeah, that's big right there. That's right? really got to run your whole crib in your mind and everything to be that jealous. Mm -hmm. Here's another thing, too. Parents. Sometimes set us up to be jealous of our what? Our siblings. Why you can't be like your sister? Why you can't be like your, your brother? Mm. And put what? And put the word out there to make it look, make us feel less than for some of us. Mm. Who in here was the firstborn? And you had all the attention, all the candy, all the money, all the attention. And now here comes your siblings. And then all that attention, that money is being chopped up and being divided. Matter of fact, you become what? Forgot about. You'd be surprised what be going on behind what? Closed doors. Who watched Lifetime? Mm. Yes. Every show on Lifetime has psychotic childhood atrocities. Mm. I'm, 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 a, I'm a pro, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a um, program, I'm a pro, <laughs> what I'm saying about, I, I, I'm a uh, forensic Kojak. All right? Forensic <laughs> Black uh, Ghetto Kojak. Mm -hmm, <laughs> I mean, mm -hmm. say that again, say that right. Forensic Ghetto Black Kojak, meaning I like to talk fruits. I talk roots. Fruits is I shoot dope. Roots is why I shoot though. Fruits is I'm a perkite and a zanyite. Roots is why I'm a perkite and a zanyite. Fruits is when she don't shut up, I beat her up. That's the root of his tree. The fruit of his tree. But why he put his hands on a woman is the root of his tree. She said, I can't stand men. Hate them. Don't trust them. That's the fruit of her tree. But why she hate men is the root of her tree. So when we share, we got to learn to talk roots. And not the fruits. The root of all evil. Because in the roots is our Pandora box. And a lot of pain, a lot of hurt, a lot of secrets brought out behind here at Valley Forge. Envy, jealousy. How about slander? Who tongue in here is like a sharp mach machete sword? My hometown. Yeah? So little. I mean, I graduated 59 in my class. Jackson uh -huh. Town's a little town. It's uh -huh. like Peyton Place on Wheels. <laughs> Far copy to the newspaper. Like, yeah. <laughs> I want to how about it? How about lazy? Mm, Come on, hey, what's up? No, no, no. Anybody lazy? Recovery is hard work. I'm not lazy. Who's lazy? Who procrastinate? I procrastinate. No, you I do. Don't. I do. Mm -hmm. All right. Everybody does somewhat. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. But if it's really bad, I'm then... not gonna. I'm not gonna. No, I'm gonna chase. I can do that later. Very good. I'm Very chasing, good. Chase the shit out of them. I know that's right. Just like we did the drugs. That's right. Come on, your hand was up. How you doing? 